Well here we have a dam, just a small little dam with quite a common problem of muddy water and today what we're going to do is try and show you some of the application methods using the flocculant in the field and check out its effectiveness. Now in terms of testing a flocculant to give you an idea of how much you're actually going to need to use in your dam, uh, you can conduct little jar tests and what you do is you get some product in a, in a diluted form Then basically you just take a, uh, a little pipette type of measuring uh, device, it's just a little dropper, you can get these from the local chemist, just tells you how many mil you're using. And all what you do is just take a, uh, a, known, reason, uh, a known reading or known amount of material, in this case we're going to try uh, doses of 1 mil, 2 mil and 3 mil. And you can see behind me I've got some sample jars there that are all a litre. You don't need to use uh, chemistry beakers, you can use anything at all. You can use bottles, you can use uh, glasses, you can use buckets if you want to. Uh, just as long as you know the volume that's in them and it's easy to work with one litre. And also important thing uh, when you are taking your samples out of your dam to get to this point where you're testing, it's a good idea to take the samples from different points around the dam. Uh, because if you go and, and, and stand at, at, in one spot in your dam, especially what can happen is that you put your foot in the water, you cloudy up the water, you put your bottle in right next to where you, where you put your foot in, and you're just dragging in water that may not be as turbid as the sample that you've just taken. So now what we'll do is we'll just pop in the, the one mil sample and just pop it in the in the one of these. And then what we'll do is just stir that around with a little stirrer. Again, there's uh, anything that you can use that's, that's handy that's going to do this. And that's going to be two mil. I'm going to drop it into this guy. So now we'll put three mil in this one. What you're looking for is for small little uh, small little particles to start forming. Uh, ideally they start off at sort of pinhead size and then they get larger, say to match head size, and get a bit fluffy and then they actually start settling and sinking down. That's what you're looking for. You're looking for what's called a good flock, which is uh, a good um, uh, heavy particle that's going to sink down to the bottom. Now that might happen straight away or it might take a little while to happen. Uh, I've just done one, two and three. You may need to do uh, one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half to really um, get a, uh, a good result. You can get a poor result if you put in too little product and you can get a poor result if you put in too much product. So unfortunately, like I said before, it's a little bit of a process. It's not sort of an easy thing where you say, okay, two, two mil doesn't work, so I'm going to put in four mil, just double it and see if I get a quick result. It's not going to work that way. You might find that you needed three mil and you did two and four and you didn't get a result with either side. So you need to do small incre incremental doses. And the other reason why you want to do that as well is that when you multiply that out, at the moment you're talking about one litre samples, but let's say your dam's in the million of millions of litres, the cost difference in product between 2.5 and 2 in the jar translates out to a significant cost difference when you multiply it out for your, for your dam. So it is a good idea to take the time and, and as best you can refine your dose whilst you're at this sort of stage. Okay, so in this case you can see it's only taken a few minutes for this to be effective, uh, probably about five minutes or less. Uh, if you can see through the video there, the first one is still a bit cloudy, the one mil sample. The two mils a little less cloudy but still a little bit cloudy nonetheless. And the third one, I wouldn't call it cloudy, I can see fine sort of particles um, floating around in the, in the water. And I would expect that as time goes on and over a period of the, the next coming hours that this would be uh, crystal clear. Now you probably also find that the 2 mil sample would also be crystal clear after a period of a few hours. So in terms of doing uh, sort of more thorough testing, what I would be doing is testing the at least the 2.5 uh, mil mark because that's probably where this sample is actually going to come out as having the best result between uh, time and effectiveness. That's uh, how you do your flock testing and then beyond that we need to start looking at uh, how much water you have in your dam and that's a, a case of multiplying your length and width and depth and, and doing some calculations and estimations. Whenever you get to the point where you're estimating how much of a flocculent you're going to need, it's always a very good idea to order more, probably about 20% more, 
because what will what may happen is that if you have underestimated how much volumes in your dam or if it hasn't been applied uh, really well or really successfully then uh, the flocculent you may, by putting in you may need a bit more than what your jar tests uh, result and you're, all, you're always going to get different results from your jar test to what's actually real in the field because conditions are obviously different compared to what I've just shown you um, compared to out, out, in your, uh, uh, out in the real world where your dam is. So it's a good idea to have more on hand because if you need to put more in, if you reach a point where you notice these fine particles starting to form in your dam and everything seems to be going well but then you run out of product and the fine particles don't make the jump from fine particles to large particles, what you'll find is that that won't clear and when it comes time then to go back and put more flocculate in, unfortunately it's never a case of uh, just topping it up with let's say you used 100 litres of product and you run out and it didn't do the job. Uh, and you figured out that you probably needed say 120 litres of product, it's not as simple as just going away and getting another 20 litres of product and putting it in there. Unfortunately you need to press the reset button and go all the way back to the start again and dose with 120 litres of product. So always a good idea to have more product on hand than what you think you're going to need. This is what we call at the moment a weak flock. It's starting to work, it's starting to clump together and that's what we want. We want all this soil that's in the water to stick together so that it can eventually drop out and clear the water up. So you can see now the particles are getting a little bit larger, which is what we want. That means we've got a better chance of them actually getting large enough that they're going to drop out of the water overnight. 